If you're like me, then sometimes you need a checklist to be able to tell if you're meeting your goals for really overwhelming things like getting a classroom ready in the very beginning of the year. There's just so much to do. So I like to do this in Google Sheets. Um, when I go to sheets.new, I can pull up a brand new blank spreadsheet. That's a kind of fun shortcut. And then with these simple headers, um, the task, the timeline, progress, and notes, you can start to kind of customize and make this spreadsheet look a little bit better. So for timeline, I might um, want to actually go here to insert, and I'm going to insert a drop down to kind of make my spreadsheet look a little prettier, and then I'm going to customize this drop down. These are the main categories I selected, and I can now choose the colors. So work week, maybe I'm going to do that green, before meet the teacher, yellow, before day one, I might make red, like I have to get that done. And then if it's anything that needs to be done at all over quarter one, I might just make that generic purple. So now I have these options and I can do done. And I can drag this down further in my sheet to have 50 different items if I want. I can do the same thing for progress. So I'm going to go here to insert, drop down. And then for drop down, I'll just say um, not started, in progress, and complete. What's really cool about these spreadsheets is that if you can make this a team spreadsheet as well, or if you're a co-teacher, you could share this out with another teacher on your team and they can make a copy of it. So there's a lot of different collaboration things you can do and this is just a nice way to organize your work. When I choose my colors, I always like to do green for complete. It just makes me feel like when I see a lot of greens, I know that I'm good and I'm making a lot of good progress toward my goals and my tasks. Same thing, I can pull this down and then I can have a lot of different options on my spreadsheet. I can always drag more if I need to or I could fill the whole slide, but now I can get started and I can always drag this to make it longer. I can, sometimes the progress isn't, it doesn't show all the way, so I can drag that to make it longer. Same thing with my timeline and I've got a pretty good start to a checklist. So here's a sample of my checklist. You can see it's really dynamic. I can help prioritize my tasks, especially as I'm brainstorming different items. Like I just had a faculty meeting and I remembered I had to go over my IEP goals. So I definitely want to do that probably before meet the teacher so that I'm ready to talk to parents about it. And since I just had that meeting, it is in progress. So I can come back to anything on this chart. I can change the timeline. When things are finished, I can change it to complete. And then if I have any notes or resources, I can hyperlink them here. So maybe with IEPs, maybe if there's a calendar to um, our resource teacher's calendar to make appointments, maybe I would put that link here. So then I have everything kind of in one place and I have a place to go back to during that really hectic week. But I look like the organized one because I've got my checklist and I have a good system for prioritizing all of those important tasks. Thank you.